I ain't never ever heard the dude you I ain't never heard of whatever this motherfucker's name is you're talking about. I've never seen his channel, none of that shit. But I like this video. I think the main way we can fix some of this shit, like you were saying, is like, how can we fix it? We have to re-educate these people. Um, you go through the hood, where where are the black people hanging out at? I mean, what what is the brothers and sisters doing in the hood? What are they doing? When you go through the hood, when you go through the hood in the mornings on their on their way to school, what are they doing? What? What are they doing? So I ain't on nothing. <laughs> what are they doing? So you have to re-educate people. It's sad when an education means nothing. Like you said, ain't nobody gonna hire the motherfucker in the Steve Harvey suit. You know, we ain't doing a fucking TV show. I don't know why you need to, but you ain't playing football. Why you need the shoulder pads? You feel me? But um, we gotta re-educate people. That's the bottom line. There's lack of education. That's it. Period. Because. When the motherfucker think the greatest thing going on today is a motherfucker, a bunch of niggas getting together playing fucking Madden. Yeah, man, we gonna finna go play some Madden today, nigga. Break motherfucker. When that's the fucking best shit, the biggest thing going today is motherfuckers going out and playing Madden, and drinking beers and smoking blunts. When that is what people live for, then that's a problem. You know? What are these other little kids gonna see? We have to re-educate people. We have to put for, we have to create jobs. Black people have to create jobs for black people. I'm sorry. You know, pull y'all money together and open up a little business and make sure everybody come to your store. Simple as that. No, it's not that simple. No, re-education. No, no. What do we do then? If it ain't re-educating people, if it ain't trying to put people to work in their own businesses then what is it? What can the average young black professional do? Work in somebody else's office? I don't know. You keep on saying I forget the points in your videos, but you're asking this other guy to come up with an excuse. His tired ass philosophy. I knew Malcolm X changed up. Come on. And like you said, they only talk about the militant Malcolm. They don't talk about the peaceful Malcolm. They don't see it. They they can't see it. They, I told you, man, they funnel driven. You know, party, kick it, bitches, hoes. Get your money on. Get the flashy car. Get the old fake ass teeth you can't eat with bling grill, bling blimity grills or whatever they call them and shit. You know, live like a rock star. Try to be like somebody else. Black people are actors. They act. Act like they're happy when they ain't. Act like they're hardcore when they ain't. Act like they straight when they gay. What can I say, man? Black people act. They act like they want to make changes. They act like things is happening for them, but ain't nothing happened. You know, here in California, we're having a protest every other day now for Mr. Grant, you know, Oscar Grant, who was murdered by the police officer who is facing murder charges. Um, black people say, I'm wrong for saying, don't go out in the street and protest. I didn't say go, not go protest. I said, don't go riot. You see, that's what's wrong with the fact that when black people as a whole try to do something positive, opportunists pop out. And back in the days, um, used to see a crowd of peaceful, you know, a peaceful crowd gathering on, and if, you know, the powers that be wanted to break up the crowd, they'd send in their own hooligans to fuck up the shit. So who, who's to say that when these people go out and try to do positive shit, that there's not somebody out there to screw them? I don't know. But I know the best way to fix some of the problems in the black community is for black people to stop standing there with a finger up their ass trying to figure out when they're going to get their next weave or how many blunts they're going to smoke or, or that nigga staring at me all hard or look at this punk over here trying to go to school with his books. He's a bitch. That attitude and that philosophy make us stupid as a whole. You may not be stupid, 
I may not be stupid, but me and you walking down the street in our regular big boy clothes, looking for opportunity, and two other hoodlums, thugs, punks, knuckleheads, or whatever you want to call them, do some shit, do some dirt. It's two guys. Popo, the Rollers, 5 0. They looking for two guys. Not a guy with bald head. Not a guy with a curl. Not a guy with, you know, they looking for two black guys. And regardless if we wearing suits or not, we look like those black guys who are starting trouble. We appear to be the same as those guys. That's another problem we have in the black community. We don't look at each other as individuals. We begin to stereotype ourselves, not just based on the stereotypes that was been fed into us through the media, but the stereotypes that have been fed through us, fed to us through relationships in the household. You know, our own family taught us how to hate on other black people. Because, man, look at that nigga. Don't be acting like them niggas. Them niggas ain't no good. It ain't nothing good gonna happen to them niggas. All them motherfuckers do is no good. You acting just like them ignorant niggas. And then now, years later, the average black man walking down the street, hey man, what's up nigga? We'll call another black man a nigga. Not knowing that this ain't a nigga. This is just a man. We have bought into every stereotype. We have lived up to every stereotype. And it's not getting better. It's just more and more and more of the same. You know, what's going to happen once they start charging people to, <laughs> for the Internet? Big time charging per minute. All these brothers and sisters with this newfound freedom can speak to people all around the world will be cut off. Because they can't afford something that costs. Priorities in the hood have got to change. You have to change priorities, man. Like I said, if getting up in the morning, all you have to look forward to is playing a game of Madden and smoking blunts, getting your hustle on. That's not good for us as a whole. And you have to be able to speak to other people. Some black people cannot talk. They speak English. They speak good English, but they can't speak to people. Some of them can't. They're not, not saying their mind capacity is not at that level. It's because their hood mentality is too strong. It's like, man, motherfucker, uh, uh, it's all stare down every time they talk to somebody. It's all drama every time, every single fucking time. And, of course, the number one factor, brothers just don't respect each other. And then, you know, like I'm saying, you know, <laughs> some of these brothers and these women, man, and the portrayal of women in all these videos and all this and that crap. And come on, man. It's not about black anymore. It's about survival. And if I want to survive, that's every human being's right is to want to survive. But as a whole, as a group of people, I do want to survive. I do want to be able to see more than one black person when I go on vacation to a non-black country or whatever if you want to call it black or not whatever. I want to be able to see black people in the same light as I see regular people understand what I'm saying that because black people different black people separate themselves because we have been taught to be separate from everyone else Till then, man, you've been too. That nigga can't figure it out. Cause I ain't never heard of him.